made, it hasn't. So I don't know, I don't know anymore, but um, thank you for being here. Your Excellency, my father, my king, I can say that because I'm not right. <laughs> my king, my king, my king. <laughs> thank you, Daddy, so much for everything you've done. Your Excellency, my mom, I love you so much. Um, but today really is about you, uh, my father. I came back from a trip recently, and somehow this happens to me a lot. I came back from a trip, on the flight I sat beside a man who I'm sure is watching now, so I would not call his name. And just like several other flights, he went on to ask me where I walk. And I'm always so proud. I do other things that I've been advised to leave because of the passion I have for Roches Foundation College of Africa. But I was so quick to tell him I work in a foundation. And he said, oh, which one? And I said, the Roches Foundation. And he said, does it really work? And that was the end of my six hour sleep I had planned. I sat up all night talking to this man about the Rochas Foundation, and at the end, all he could say was, oh, what great misconception the world has. The best part of you is this foundation, and that's the hardest thing you are able to talk about because it's second nature to you, and somehow you have passed that on to me. I traveled across Africa, going to the places that people ought not to go, quote unquote, like the slums of Kenya or the deep, poorest villages in Uganda, but somehow we go there and we bring light. And all I can do every time I get to this point is thank God Almighty for giving you and my mom to me, for showing me the path of charity. Growing up, I thought I wanted to be a lawyer. And at some point I said, you know what, I know what I want to do is international relations, but I'm not sure how. And I'm not sure how that's going to put money on my table. And somehow, when I got back from school, I saw the Rochas Foundation, and I could think of nothing else to do than to take it outside the shores of Nigeria. Father, I tell you today, on behalf of all the Rochas Foundation College of Africa students, on behalf of that African child right now in Kenya that does not know their life is about to change, I tell you, thank you. Yes. Let the world know that of a truth, Africa is alive. And the solution to Africa poverty can only come from within Africa. I love you, Daddy. I thank you so much. I think it's John McCain that said before he died, he said, the essence of living is not doing things that are timed by your time on earth, but doing things that exceed your time on earth. Rochas Foundation College students, this vision will never die. This vision will go beyond our children's children and our children's children. I have great news for you. I have great news for you. Yesterday, I was in my sister's house and it was her son, Nafana, that says, oh, that's a Rochas Foundation flag. And I said, what is Rochas Foundation? He said, it's grandpa. So Rochas Foundation is you without your presence. Rochas Foundation is you with your presence. It's us, it's the grandchildren, it's everybody. We'll tell our children's children about it. And 20,000 will tell their children's children, that is a nation, that is a movement. And for that, we thank you. Love you, daddy, happy birthday. Your Excellency, sir, the, the Vice President of the Federal Republic. Um, many of you don't know, but His Excellency likes to employ youth, and I've seen most of his special advisors, they are youth. Sir, my appointment will not be special advisor. I want to be a special learner on leadership and your oratory, because I am a big fan, sir, and I appreciate you. <laughs> Can I skip protocol a bit? Oh, let me just go with the protocol. <laughs> Your Excellency, sir, my father, in many ways, my shield, my person I look up to, the person I want to walk like, talk like, and be like, I salute you.
Your Excellency Ma, my mother, my first love, my first love, my first love, I love you. Um, I just wanted to start with, uh, I didn't know we were all coming up together. You see, you spoke well. Keep learning. <laughs> um, I just want to tell a story before any formal speech. When we were younger, I think when we were still in school, I used to be a stammerer. I, not because I was born like that, but because each time I was called upon, I was very afraid to speak. And my dad would come. It was talent show. He would say, welcome to Rocha's Got Talent. All of you sit down. Let's start, let's start, let's start speaking. He would say, okay, you, speak about corruption. Monday, you may be speaking in front of the vice president of Nigeria. Speak on something. Talk to me. And I will come. After all my siblings spoke, I will come and I will be like, ah. I, my 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 name is Amen, and he he hit me. He was, he hit me, and he would say, "No, no, speak up, speak up. You got it, you got it." And I go again, I, and I'm not a stammerer. It was fair, and I go, I, I, and at the time I told him, "Daddy, I can't do it." Then he stood beside me and he said, "Okay, let's go together. It's a song. It's a song. Let's say it." I, I say, I, I say, I, I said, I, oh Lord. Oh, oh Lord, then we started, and that is the story of ours that is speaking. He said, say it with me, oh Lord, if you bless me, I will bless others. If you give unto me, I will give unto others. For on my own, I can do no things through Christ who started me. He says, start singing it. So today, can I sing my own song? Um, my problem with history is that history is not what happened but what is written history is not what happened but what was told so sometimes history lies so my problem and what i wonder is what if the world does not get history right but then i find comfort in nigeria i said if the world can forget you then nigeria will not forget you surely nigeria will remember that men called you a non-tribalized nigeria because you fought for even the north and they gave you a name for it and that even when you came back home you 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 stood for hausa Igbo, and yoruba not thinking where you come from if the world will forget you surely not africa because when men are thinking of dividing the country, you said, surely we can bring all 55 countries down to Nigeria and to my state. If the world would forget you, and if Parvention Nigeria tries to forget you, then not the Igbo race. Not the Igbo race. Not the Igbo race. You said, I will not play tribal politics. I will go to a party that even if they think he's the Hausa Muslim party, I will represent my people not for myself, but for the Igbo nation. But if Igbo's paraventure, which is not our nature, tries to forget you, then not Rocha's foundation. If anything, we will tell the world, we will tell them that of a truth, where would we have been if not for him? We will tell the world and we will tell our children and we will tell our children's children. Look, I do not have the stories of my brothers and sisters. I can't say I had no mother. I can't say I had no father. But I feel their stories because I am their brother. I feel their stories because I see your heart. But perventure, and I say this, if Rocha's Foundation forgets, if Rocha's Foundation forgets to tell that story, I will tell it. I will tell my own children, I will tell them that there was a man that existed. I will tell the truth. I won't say he was perfect, but I'll say I didn't see his wrong. I won't say that he was the richest, but there was nothing he could not give. I won't tell them that he, he was the most brave, but I'll say that he gave without being afraid. I would also, and if peradventure my mouth cannot carry the words due to heavy mouth or by mistake, I personally forget, I will tell God. I will say, oh Lord, you know that there was a man that existed. If my children refuse to hear these words, I will just pray to my heavenly father. I said, oh Lord, if you bless me, I will bless others. If you give unto me, I will give unto others. Because there was a man you put in my life that educated me. Today, I was thinking of what to tell you, and only three words could come to my mind. I love you. I love you.